Hello, I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll be observing the link between how we feel and what we feel, so that we can root out unconscious sources of stress. We'll begin by sitting on the floor, a cushion, or in a chair. Let's start by gently moving to release any built-up tension. Roll your shoulders forward about five times fairly quickly. In reverse, rolling your shoulders back five times. Then interlace your fingers behind your back or grab onto the back of the chair and gently stretch your chest open for a few breaths. Now relax your hands in your lap or by your sides and settle into your seat. Focus on your breathing. Release any tension in your neck, chest, and shoulders. When you're ready, allow your eyes to close. And let's take three deep breaths together. Start by taking a great big inhale and hold it. And let it go with a full exhale. Take another deep breath in and pause, holding it. And a full exhale. One more time, inhale fully and pause. and let it all go on your last exhale. As you allow your breath to settle, notice it has a natural rhythm. Even though you may not be aware of it, there are unconscious parts of your brain controlling your breath. This subtle influence keeps your breath rising and falling when you are focused on the task, sleeping, or lost in other thoughts. Just like the moon's gravitational pull is always tugging at the ocean, your nervous system is always influencing your breath, whether you notice it or not. Continue observing your breath's natural rhythm for a few moments in silence.
as your focus is disconnected from the breath, come back to it now. Let the inhale and the exhale find their natural balance again. If your nervous system is carrying tension, anger, or frustration, or any other agitating emotions, notice how this might affect the breath. Maybe making it more rapid and fiery, or more shallow and labor. If you're feeling calm and relaxed, you can feel that effect on your breath. Perhaps slowing it down or creating longer pauses between breaths. Continue observing the innate flow of the breath silently for a few minutes. back now. If your mind has wandered away from observing the breath, return your focus to the balance of the inhale and exhale again. Just as the moon from over 200,000 miles away can move the oceans and create the tides, Things that seem so distant can have a dramatic and unseen effect on us. Our conscious minds have a very visible effect on our breath, thoughts, and behaviors. Our subconscious minds are much subtler, and our unconscious even more so. Sometimes we cannot tell how we are feeling by just noticing our thoughts but we can observe our feelings instead as they manifest in our bodies. When we sense we are at a high tide with our stress manifesting in tight muscles, poor breathing, or nervous tics, those around us can tell there may be something going on, even if they cannot see what's in our mind. Sometimes we can see the emotion of others in the way they hold their bodies, like how their eyes move when they speak, or noticing them uncomfortably squirm in their seats. Like the link between the moon and the tides, our feelings and their external manifestations are very closely connected. Unlike the moon and the ocean, we can actually shift our breathing and move our bodies 
to use those adjustments to help reprogram our moods. When we observe our moods on conscious connection to our bodies, we can choose to reprogram our reactions. It may be as simple as remembering to breathe deeply when we feel sad, or remembering to go for a walk when we had a tough day. And like the tides, our moods often run in cycles. Life's ups and downs may create a pattern almost as predictable as the fluctuations from high tide to low tide. Throughout history, from fishing to sailing to surfing, people have followed the moon cycle to anticipate low and high tides. Just like observing the tides in the ocean, we may start to recognize the patterns in our lives, foretell the coming of high times or low times. By noticing the subtle connection between above and below, or mind and body, we can mitigate the negative effect our moods may have on our sense of physical well-being. And with that recognition, we may start to learn how to interact with the approaching waves of emotion more knowledgeably. Not letting our unrestrained minds wash us out to sea. With this, we become the captains of our own souls, able to more skillfully shape our destiny. Return awareness to your body and your breath. And take one final restorative breath in and hold it. And release it. Then allow your eyes to open. Thank you for showing up for your mindfulness practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care. And look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.